Hey everybody, uh, this is Danny. This is my first tutorial. Um, it's going to be on how to make a PowerPoint game. And uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to make specifically a maze PowerPoint game. And let me just show you what we're going to do exactly. Oh, no, Jesus. Alright, so it's going to say the maze game, something like that. Uh, use your cursor to navigate through the maze without touching the walls. You're going to click start. It's going to show you a maze. Uh, you're going to try to navigate your cursor throughout the maze without touching the walls. But if you touch a wall, you're going to go right back to the beginning. So, you can try again. And you're going to move through the maze. Say you make it this time. When you go over the finish, it says you completed the maze. And you can either redo the program or you can end the program. And if you redo, it's just going to go right back to the beginning. And if you end it, it's going to end the program. So, let's start from scratch. I'm just going to start a new file. Oh, um, one other thing. I'm using PowerPoint 2013. It hasn't been released yet, but if you go on the Microsoft website or some other website, they have it for free preview. Um, it goes 60 days after they release it. I'm, I'm just using it. It's pretty neat. Okay, so I'm going to use a blank presentation. First thing you're going to do is get rid of these uh, content boxes right here. You don't need them. Okay, and let's create a tile, title, title, and the maze game. Very creative. I'm sure, everyone else can come up with something more creative than that. All right, and now let's create the instructions like we did before. And you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. I'm just kind of putting in something. This isn't really important. So use your cursor. Navigate. Oops. Through the maze without touching the walls. Let's move this up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to put in a shape for the start button. Uh, I'll just use a rectangle, I guess. And put it in right there, somewhere in the middle. Add some text to it that says start. And make it bigger. It's too small right now. Let's change the background. It's not cool enough. It needs to be cooler. How do I do that? Oh, there we go. Okay. And put it right there. There we go. That looks good. Looks just like the other one, doesn't it? Okay. So, this slide is going to be our actual game slide. This is where you're going to navigate through the maze, avoiding all the walls to get to the other side. First thing we're going to have to do is copy the start button. You can either copy it like this or you can just press control C. I think control C is just a lot easier. And then you're going to paste it into this one. I guess you can't use paste. I'm just going to use control V. And there we have it right there. It's in the exact same spot as this one, which is what we need. It needs to be in the exact same spot. And we need a finish now. So copy that again. Uh, put it somewhere at the top and rename it to finish. Okay. Now we have to make our maze portion. This part's really easy. You can do a couple of things with shapes. Um, I'm just going to use the freeform section. It looks pretty cool. So click on that and now you're just going to make your maze. I'm just going to make mine turn like an S. And make it go to the finish. And since it's freeform, you have to wrap it around. And link it up. There we go. And we have to move these above the path, otherwise it looks really bad. Okay. There's our maze. Not very tricky, but it's basic and 
yeah, that's all we need. So we have this, and we need to add a action to this button so that when you click start, it goes to slide two. And that's actually not very hard at all. All you have to go is insert. Action might be a little bit different because I'm using PowerPoint 2013, but it should be the same concept. So go to action, and we're going to say if you click the mouse on this object, which is the start button, then let's hyperlink it to slide number two. You could say next slide because it is the next slide, but I'm going to be a little bit more specific and actually say slide two. Comes in handy when you have multiple slides and it gets confusing and stuff, so let's just say slide two. And okay, so when you start the slideshow and click start, you go right here. Perfect, that's what we want. But we can move around everywhere and that's not what we want. We want to add an add in wall so that if you go out of bounds, then you go back to the start. So let's add those walls. Not very hard again. All you have to do is add a square or I guess it's a rectangle. And we're going to move it to the back and change the color so it's not the same. Okay, we have that. Now we need to add an action to the background itself so that if you go off the wall then it goes back to the beginning. And instead of mouse click you're going to go to mouse over because you could go over the wall if it was on mouse click but it wouldn't go to the beginning until you clicked on it. So you want to say mouse over so if you go over the wall when your mouse is over it then go back to the first slide. And you could say first slide I'm just going to say slide one. Okay, so now it's starting to look like a game. Click start, move around on the path, but if you go off, it goes back to the beginning. It's exactly what we want. Okay, now we have to add in the finish slide. So when you go over the finish button, it goes to the finish slide. I'm just going to copy this one and paste it after this one, a little bit easier. Change the background real quick. There we go. And now we're going to change this to you completed the maze. Yay, you completed the maze. And we're going to add in those redo and end buttons. So redo or end the program and we're going to take this and put them in the middle and put them right here and say uh, this one's going to say redo and this one's going to say end so we want to when we finish we want to make sure we go to that slide. So we're going to click on finish, give it an action. Uh, when the mouse, you could either say the mouse clicks or the mouse goes over. It really doesn't matter. It's just your preference. I'm just going to say when the mouse goes over the finish box, then let's hyperlink to slide number three. Okay. And that will put us, when we go over the finish line, to this slide. And now we have to hyperlink this redo button to the beginning. We don't want to hyperlink it to the slide number two only because this redo button is not lined up with the star button we have here. Because if we click to redo, our cursor would be right here. And if we click if we went to slide number two, we'd start where the wall was and we'd just lose. So we're just gonna make this redo button start at slide number one. Number one. And for the end button, there's a specific command in an action just to end the program right there. Just gotta click that. There you go. Okay, now you have to test it because usually stuff doesn't work when you want it to work. In this case, it will just because I've made this so many times, but you want to test it if you're doing it by yourself. So, the maze game. Instructions. Use your cursor to navigate through the maze without touching the walls. Seems simple enough.
start. Move through the maze. I don't think I can do this. Oh, my hand's getting a little shaky. Oh. Alright, well, I went back to the beginning, so I can try again. We'll, we'll try it again. Give it another chance. Alright. I'm almost there. Got it. Oh, oh, there we go. Right as I go over the finish line, it says, You completed the maze. I can now redo or end the program. Well, I think I want to redo it, because this just gives me so much joy. Alright. Start. There we go. Oh, this is so fun. So fun. I could do this all day. Alright. I'm gonna read. No, I'm just kidding. I'm. Let's see if the end works now. Click end. There we go. It ended the program. Just what we wanted. Okay. This concludes my tutorial on creating games on PowerPoint. Um. Be sure to like and subscribe to me if you want to make. If you want me to make more videos on this. Uh, it really help out. Check out my website uh, www.neclogames.com and I will put a link to that Microsoft Office 2013 in the description if you want. Uh, thanks. Bye.